Hey everybody, we're on a jock trip. When, when I first saw you, I already knew. Jock Ross. There was something inside of you. And he's singing Angel of Mine. Something I thought that I would never find. From the greatest artist, Angel of Mine. Monica. Thank you, Jock. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something to talk about. I had somebody send me a video. I don't always look at the videos people send me, but I took a look at this one. This one is um, a little disturbing. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I want to show you some things that were wrong. Now, there are some wrongs on both sides. I'm going to highlight the wrongs. Let it explain itself. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I'm not agreeing with this part. We need to show y'all this part. First thing, they parked in an emergency section of the highway. That's the first thing. So just highlighting that because those idiots are going to use it against them. This is all they did. Now, they have on gear but there are no weapons let me say it again now you see him right here look at his hand all right and this one right here that's the one you want to keep an eye on we can't hear what they're saying because of the wind and he turns his back on him uh-oh, they all turn their backs on him. Shane, does he do anything provocative? Let's let's watch. Now I want you guys to understand something. There are two things wrong here. Again, they're in emergency lane, but they do have a right to ask the officers questions. Okay, the officer did hold a conversation with them. Nothing wrong, right? Hold on. Now, this officer is telling him to come this way. Notice that. Let Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. We got to let y'all see that. See, he's right here. He's asking him, can we talk? He didn't say, can we argue? He said, can we talk? Uh oh, now he's bringing his buddies. Now watch this. Now watch how they surround him. Pay attention. Watch how they surround him. He only asked the officer to talk. Now, you see, he's got that look on his face. You one of them sovereign people. We done heard about you, mother... What? Okay, we don't need to show you the rest. Nothing happened. Nobody got shot. Okay, because there were cameras on him. I want you guys to understand, there was no reason for them to grab him. He hadn't done anything. Ladies and gentlemen, the police only have the powers to arrest if someone is suspected to have committed a crime. They asked him to come over. He said, can we talk? This ordeal went on for 10 minutes of them resting him to the ground and him telling him, you guys don't have any authority to arrest me. You don't have an arrest warrant. 
You don't have any probable cause of any crime. They arrest him and they arrest his friend. His friend didn't do anything. Now, you're going to see one of the other officers pulls his gun. This guy hasn't done anything. He went over to talk to the officer. They surrounded him. And let's show it to you again. The officer is asking him to come over and look. He's bringing all of his buddies. All sheriff's officer and looking at him. He's rushing. Now remember, this is going to be the aggressive one right here. This one. That's why he's standing behind him. Look at him. Look at how they're positioning themselves. And the first thing they want to do is grab him. For what? What are you grabbing him for? What did he do? He didn't do anything. The gentlemen have did a habeas corpus the courts are going to ignore them again ladies and gentlemen it's in situations like this is where the civil rights act of 1866 comes in now people say well that's a they, they're violating the constitution doesn't matter if they're violating the constitution he has it on video that they violated the constitution they did not have any cause for arrest he didn't do anything he was asking them a question he didn't threaten them he didn't approach them in a threatening way oh you know they told him that he had a warrant wait how do you know he has a warrant you didn't ask him for his name or any identification information, but he told him he had a warrant. Has a warrant? Really? That was the excuse. Now they're going to get him for a resistant arrest and interfering, blah, 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 and they're going to do all that stuff because this is how they play. So those of you who don't understand, yeah, you may disagree with how they approached the scene, but they didn't do anything illegal. None of Go ahead, show me the law that they violated. The officer asked him to come over. He went to the officer to talk. The officer obviously didn't want to talk. So why would he ask him to come over? He could have simply have said, you guys will have to just wait and let the system work itself out. Resolve it in court. I can't do anything right now. The only thing I can do is tell you guys to meet us at the precinct, blah, 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 blah. He could have done all of that, but they didn't do any of that. The first thing they did was saw these two men and they did exactly what you see here. Interesting, ain't it? There's no reason for them to grab him. But remember, they are wearing badges. And because they're wearing badges, they think that they can police people. The police were never supposed to police people. Well, technically, they were supposed to police slaves. But we're talking about the, the general synapses of how uh, a police are supposed to operate. <laughs> and the first thing they do is this. Now, I want to want to show you, uh, there's another scene I want to show you, because this is them with him on the ground and pulling and yanking. And yeah, um, I want to show you a little bit more him i want you guys i can't play it because he yeah i got the i got the mic turned down but i want you to hear him telling them to get back and he's yelling and screaming but i can't play it because he curses and they're back so they're they're back this far and watch they're going to now tell him to move back further see now he's going to move and now he's putting his hands on and putting his hand in his face look at him and now he's telling them to move back further but what happened is you guys don't know when you watch it his partner just told him to stand over here. And he wants to put his hands on people. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what the police do not have the right to do. Oh, and by the way, the two people who are videotaping, they said they were being detained. So watch this. Going to walk away. And this guy's going to come and see how he told him to move over. And now he pushes him. Interesting, ain't it? Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't have the authority to do that. This guy, they have in handcuffs. He's leaning on his back. This is the technique. This is what they do. But remember, the other officer was leaning on Mr. Um, Floyd's neck. Okay, this is how they're trained. You see how he's not putting his full weight? He's leaning on his heel. He's leaning backwards. See, if he was leaning forward, you would see him 
trying to keep his balance from going forward, but he's not leaning on him. He's leaning on his heel with his knee at his back. He's not leaning on his knee. He's leaning on his heel. It's the way they're supposed to be trained. There are a lot of other people, including people who are going to pass by and are going to yell and scream and all of that from their cars. Okay, let's continue. Sorry, and you're going to know the despairing color differentials. See, you got black here, black here, black here, brown here. So there's a lot of color here. All right, hold on. And see how he keeps yelling? And now he's threatening them with arrest because they're filming. And what he tells them is that they're being detained. They're not under arrest, they're being detained. Being detained for what? Because they're a part of this situation, excuse me? How are they a part of this situation? Those two guys walked across the street and these officers came at them. How are they a part of the situation? They're not no part of the situation. So this, ladies and gentlemen, again, whether you agree, don't agree, when you watch it, when you don't watch it, they had no authority. They had no authority to grab that man. Why? Because he hadn't done anything. He hadn't broken any law. Remember, the police authority is limited. Their authority isn't absolute. Now, you're going to see that they said they were justified. No, no, no. They said it. They didn't prove anything. They just said they were justified. Why? Because they told him he had a warrant. Those of you who are not persons of color and not been through it before, let me explain. That's the excuse police have been using for years. You look like a robbery suspect and you get arrested for it because you, quote unquote, match the description. What description? Well, uh, we can't reveal that information to you. The investigation is still ongoing. Been through it, people. Been through it. I don't normally do videos like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this happened beginning of November on the 13th. But the only reason why I'm showing you this is because there are things that these guys need to know. The same thing as I did the video with uh, Mr. Oakley uh, from the Knicks. And that situation when the officers put their hands on him without provocation. They didn't tell him he was under arrest when they grabbed his hand. When they grabbed him, he said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he's constantly telling them, you don't have any authority to arrest me. <laughs> what crime did I commit? And they're ignoring him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough. That's enough due process violations for this not to go nowhere. And if they continue this, the judge participates, and if the prosecution participates, bring them under color of law. No civil suit, criminal suit. Sorry. Uh, I, I was watching, a, a, what is it, a Lester Holt Evening News on NBC yesterday, and it was for yesterday. And I hadn't watched it for a couple of days, and there were some officers at the end of it talking about why they quit the force. Yeah, they talked about how they arrest people and the prosecution doesn't follow through and the people get the walk. Excuse me? You are upset because you arrested somebody and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out? I thought they were supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Apparently, the prosecution thought there wasn't enough proof of guilt. But that's not what the officers were complaining about. They were complaining about being indicted for their violating people's rights. Why? Because somebody told them it was okay to do this. Who? Oh, their supervisors. See, there are supervisors here. Wait, I got to show you guys this. You, you really do need to see this. You, well, he, he's constantly yelling and got his mouth open. We, we don't need to see what's in that fool's mouth. Okay, see? Everybody's watching, and that's not a bad thing that they're watching. And see, now he's asking to move back further and further and further. And look at him, pointing fingers and everything. Oh, look at that. Now look at how they're leaning on him now. Interesting. I didn't notice that at first. Hold on. Get out of the way, Bubba. Hold on. Now he is at the neck. Okay. Look at where his knee is. 
exactly the point, people. They're frisking him now, making sure he doesn't have any contraband or weapons or anything that might stick him. Okay, look. Let's do it bigger so we can see. And we're going to let it play a little bit. Look at them just tossing and turning them like they can instead of standing him up. They literally told him to get on the ground. Wait, hold on. That's what I wanted to show y'all. Hold on. Oh, they brought they brought some color out there man they brought a token i'm sorry they brought some color one two three four five six seven eight nine and sorry got the one that's doing the talking ten then the one that just came up that's eleven okay and i don't know who all's in the background but y'all gonna see in a second Cause there's a lot that's 12 because he wasn't there at first come on now that's the guy that's doing all the talking and uh oh there's another one right there he's running up uh-huh now not finished because there's something y'all need to see not there not there and I, I understand why they're focusing the camera that way and that's good because they got to keep an eye on what they're doing to him and you notice how he's standing and blocking he's purposely blocking so that they cannot see and videotape what's being done to him purposely that's the way they're trained oh look at that one more car now this is a lieutenant or somebody yeah see notice he's deciding that he ain't wearing all uniform see he's not a uniform officer see that right there there you go now it's just the powers of observation y'all now we got him over here they done blocked the whole street now ain't no more traffic hold on now we got something to show y'all I need to show y'all I think I missed it give me a second no that's when he walked up I don't want him I want the guy that we just saw walking that right there <sighs> you see this right here see now the police are there not just the sheriff but now you got the sheriff you got other police cars that are here I can't show you the police officer because I can't see him. But now remember we had 13 or so over there, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. This is how the good old boys restaurant operates. Now, let's see. I think that should be about the extent. Okay, yeah, that's the extent of that video. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many of you who had an opinion during the so-called Lives Matter so-called movement, and I don't have one. I know what they do because I've experienced it. I've seen it. I've watched it. Okay? A lot of people will sit by and be quiet. Attorneys are not going to want to assist these individuals with the violation of their rights because why? The attorneys are going to be concerned about their own selves and not about these individuals and their rights. Now, I can't assist them on their rights other than there was an individual who talked about the Civil Rights Act of 1866. Now, remember, as I told you guys before, I'll tell you now, the Civil Rights Act of 1866... Alright, we got this right here. We got the Civil Rights Act of 1866, and a lot of people have decided to 
speak as to the Supreme Court telling us what the right Civil Rights Act of 1866 is all about. Go read it for yourself and see what it says. Remember, they must follow the act as written. That's the whole purpose of the Civil Rights Act. That's the whole purpose of every so-called right act or any other thing written by Congress, that it must be followed as written. I forgot that link didn't work. Of course, they took away the Civil Rights Act of 1866 when they know we needed it. Being enacted, that whenever the President of the United States shall have reason to believe that offenses have been or are likely to be committed against the provisions of this act, it shall lawfully for him, or shall be lawfully for him to direct judges, marshals, district attorneys to attend to such place for the purpose of a more speedy arrest and trial of persons charged with the violation of this act. So you have three branches of government that you can apply to for this. See, the Supreme Court would say, well, no, that only applies in this and only... No, it doesn't. They said against all encroachment of rights. Wait, let's make sure that we understand that because it. the first one tells us, being enacted in the Senate House of Representatives, that all persons, all persons, all persons, all, born in the United States and such citizens of every race, of every race or color, every race or color without regard to previous condition of slavery in every state and territory of the union so it applies on a state level and on a federal level child a right to make and enforce contracts well they were coming in under a contract the treaty apparently somebody was saying they didn't have a right to come under the treaty uh oh to sue to be parties and give evidence to inherit, purchase, lease, sell, hold, and convey real property and personal property to the full and equal protection of all laws, including this one. This law has never been repealed because it can't. Why can't they repeal it? Only the people can repeal this law. What do you mean? Because this law was enacted by a two-thirds majority of Congress. Only the people can repeal this act. Some of you are going to get it. However, those of you who are in touch with those young men, give them this. The Civil Rights Act of 1866. Okay? Give them the literature on the Civil Rights Act of 1866. Don't just give them this, just this act. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know. Because I do things like this, I'm going to get in trouble eventually. But guess what? I can't get in any more trouble than this video right here. The Federal Reserve application video in under an hour why because there was a video oh wait 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 you know what i didn't do i didn't do this y'all sorry i gotta play it hold on we're gonna leave you there i'm gonna go back here go back here that's that young man i want to go redress right and let's see what happens when we play this i'm gonna shut this one off Now, I do know it plays at the beginning because we go round and around and around and around we go. One second. Okay, because I was about to say it didn't, I didn't hear no sound. See, we got sound. Wait, let's see if they affected my computer as much as they affected that. Where is it at? Hold on. I know there's sound at the beginning, but what happened is it's only happened once before, ladies and gentlemen, where they affected the video on both ends after I've listened to it. And there you go. No sound. Should be sound. It was sound yesterday when I listened to it, and I kid you not, because I went back and listened to it, the same as I did that video I just did. And there's no sound on this end. Why? I haven't changed anything. Like right now, before I hang this up, like I did in the previous video, I want to show you. Yeah, I, I wish I could lie, but then I'd be like you. Those of you who lie. <laughs> Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Come on now, where you at? See that right there? Now, the other day, I tried to do you guys a uh, solid as a rock uh, video showing you how the numbers, the disparity, off by thousands. Why? Because I went to the video. I looked at the video. I went online. Hold on. Oh no, I <laughs> I clicked on this one. I'm sorry, this was funny. Okay, it, if you guys could watch that one. I'm from Chicago! <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, come on now. It ain't letting me go back. It, look at that, it ain't, look, do you guys see this? This is where I was trying to get to and it wouldn't let me. Now you see 539, now let's go back here. This is the official site. 479 let's let's refresh this let's see if they match up round and around and around and around we go so it, it matches up here now guess what when I go on the back end not this back end when I go on the back end through my tablets the numbers are nowhere near the same and so I just need y'all to know that they mess it with numbers and they mess it with volumes and I don't know maybe I'm going out of my mind I don't know what to do y'all so I'll continue to put out the information for as long as I can hopefully hopefully you'll benefit from it hey ladies and gentlemen I gotta go by the way I played that young man in this video this video this video well and this video but hold on no I didn't play him in this one and they want to do a copyright claim on this one why because of the Rihanna song. Okay. No, but in this one, yeah, he did. Uh, he did that in this song. It was the other song that it wasn't Rihanna. It was, oh, this one, that's Monica. Sorry, <laughs> I just forgot that I played Monica in this song. So, to put everything in a nutshell, the young men were doing the same thing as those other people who were pulling up and watching. They hadn't done anything wrong. They asked the ignorant officer if he could talk to him. Just talk. What did the officer do? The officer decided to call his buddies over with him and say, yeah, over here. And what did they do? They proceed to grab and hold, sorry, under what authority? What authority gave them the right to grab and hold him? He had not been accused of committing a crime. Nobody had told him to stop. Nobody said, hey, you trespassing. Get on out of here. You know, nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. Nobody. All he said was, can we talk? And then Tevin Campbell showed up and, and said, no, nah, you can't talk. That, that's how it was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good day. I'm watching my dogs play in the cameras, and I got to get ready for a meeting. So I'm about to go wind down for a minute. It's been a long couple of days, but we're almost there. I hope those of you... And this video ain't going up no time soon. Well, for the sake of those two gentlemen, I will put it up today. Normally, a video like this, I would let sit for a couple of days. But I think the information would be beneficial to their people. Now, what you guys need to understand, there are two types of habeas corpus. You have a statutory habeas corpus, which the Supreme Court claims they have a right to interfere with the common law right to habeas corpus. Supreme Court doesn't have that jurisdiction. Habeas corpus is a common law right. It's not a statutory right. It was never a statutory right. But they made it a right for statutory citizens. Okay, so if you're going to apply for habeas corpus, then my suggestion is do it the right way. Bring the criminal complaint first. And I would even bring the habeas corpus under the Civil Rights Act of 1866. I joked with you not, and I kid with you not. Now, wait, hold on. Let's do it, because I don't. I, I know somebody must have done it. So, 
Civil Rights Act and habeas corpus. See, it's not a habeas corpus suspension act. They had no authority to suspend habeas corpus. Habeas corpus is a common law right. You don't get to suspend that. Okay, we don't care about Wikipedia. Um, section 10. Look at that. Look at that. Section 10. Uh, section 10 is the one I've been telling you guys about. Look, Civil Rights Act 1866, the act relating to habeas corpus and regulating judicial proceeding in certain cases. Hello! And then you have Mulligan, Milligan, Mulligan, Milligan, Mulligan, Milligan! Ladies and gentlemen, because I want to let you all know, I didn't know. I just suggested it to be it further enacted upon any question of law arising out of or under any cause under provisions of this act, a final appeal may be taken to the Supreme Court of the United States, not the United States Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court of the United States. This is the Civil Rights Act. This is the actual act. It's called the First Civil Rights Act. Okay, again, it's only four pages long and it applies to, did y'all get it earlier? Because some of y'all don't understand. It applies to all people, every race, every color, every nationality. Well, it says they have to be U.S. citizens. Well, technically, anybody born in the USA is technically a citizen. But once you start using them things, them Federal Reserve notes, it looks like you're a U.S. citizen too can't prove that to you just yet because I ain't trying to prove that. See, habeas corpus act came later. That's why we bring habeas corpus under the Civil Rights Act because this came first and this was common law. Okay? See, they say the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless Congress wrote that, people. The people didn't write that. So we bring it under 1866 under the common law. So let me pull this up right here. Because I put that, it only pulled up the Civil Rights Act. So I'm looking, oh, that's section 10. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. Didn't go here, should have went here. I'm pissed off, okay? Uh, provisions, everyone has the right has the right of habeas corpus on arrest or detention. Okay, here's the problem. I think this is Canada. This is Canada. That's why it was section 10. Okay, but that's what you guys got to understand. Habeas corpus is a, what do you call it? Law of nations. It's a common law right throughout the world, not throughout <laughs> just the United States. Okay, it means to release the body. Produce the body, bring forth the body. Okay, corpus, habeas, to bring forth. And they keep showing that it's a privilege. It is not a privilege. Oh, look at that. It says, <laughs> Section 5 of the Act of 1866 permit the issue of a writ of certiorari to aid. Excuse me? Really? Oh, because this is Britain. <laughs> okay. Hoo-wee, because they did their own 1866 act. Imagine that. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to keep you any longer. Like I said, those gentlemen, this is what I would do. I would do something they ain't seen before. Get their attention. No uh, craps, no taking a chance or a role or anything like that. Uh, in promoting the Civil Rights Act of this, blah, 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 okay? I would read these articles because what do they do? These articles explain the premise behind the Civil Rights Act. Prisoners, habeas corpus privilege under the 14th, not the 14th Amendment, F the 14th Amendment. This is under the Civil Rights Act of 1866, and that's the point. Okay, watch this. One, uh-oh. Control F one eight six six. See, 
More precisely, the Civil Rights Act of 1866. Yay! Uh-oh. Let me make it bigger so y'all can see it. It was footnote number 77. 74. 77. The PL clause was, in part, a simple response to the Black Codes and their enabling precedents. Then you had Dred Scott versus Stanford. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, that's one. I don't know how many other times it shows up, but we're going to find out. Let's go to the next one. Where you at? Eight, oh, one of 27 times. No, that's uh, not Civil Rights Act. Civil Rights Act of 1866 is here again under number 95. Necessary to establish Civil Rights Act of 1866 was a lawful exercise of legislative authority. That's what the Supreme Court said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What did it say? That it had at that point been intended to protect privileges and immunities of national citizenship, but had incorrectly been interpreted primarily to do other things. That's a lie. Ladies and gentlemen, it did not protect privileges and immunities. Civil Rights Act protected rights. It was the 14th Amendment that protected privileges and immunities. Go back, read. Civil Rights Act and the 14th Amendment are not the same thing. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, just go and read and you'll get an understanding. But just, just because it's in writing doesn't mean it's the law. So that was number three. And let's go. I'm looking for a Civil Rights Act of 1866 again. This thing talks about Civil Rights Act of 1866 all throughout. Okay? In promoting the Civil Rights Act, this judge described Justice Washington's opinion as the most elaborate upon the meaning of the privileges and immunities as he read in Caulfield Inventory. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. What year is he saying this? Hold on. Hold on. 124. Hold on. Yep, saying. Well, no, because this is a Civil Rights Act. That... Yeah, but I'm looking for when he made the statement, you morons. There's a senator. And, 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 and the senator, but we got a problem. Because the 13th and 14th Amendment, well, the 13th Amendment exists, but the 14th Amendment doesn't exist in 1866. It doesn't exist until 1888. So you know that this is a misinterpretation of what actually took place, because this is making it sound like he said this in 1866. Pay attention. Describe Justice Washington's opinion. Okay. Hold on. Uh, 1825, I mean, 125 gives me still 1866. Impossible. Because the act hadn't been passed yet. You feel me? So something ain't right about the arithmetic here. How can you say that he's speaking about this act if the act hadn't even passed yet? Okay, it says Trumbull's view is particularly important because he was a primary exponent of the contemporaneous legislation expanding the habeas privilege to reach state custody. Ladies and gentlemen, habeas was already guaranteed in all the union. Why? There was no separation between federal and state because the state governments under the compact had agreed to the Constitution. So you couldn't be a state of the United States without agreeing to the Constitution to uphold the Constitution. So the Constitution applied on the state level. That's why every state had to incorporate the Bill of Rights into their constitutions. Oops. All right. But nonetheless, this document associates habeas corpus and the act of 1866 all throughout so again i didn't even think about it until today i know the two can go hand in hand so while that's going hand in hand i say thank y'all for joining us today and put your hands together now sing Got it.